Alright, hello and welcome back, finally, to Dawn of War Retribution. It's been a while since I did this, and I felt I really do need to get back to it. Mainly because I've only done the Space Marine and the Chaos Space Marine campaigns, I still need to do the Eldar, Terranid, Orc, and Imperium. So, um, as I recall last time I said I pretty much wanted to do Tyranid, because I actually like doing the Tyranid because I wanted to choose one. You guys chose Chaos last time, so I did that. And this time I'm going to choose Tyranid, so let's get in with that. Uh, normal. I'll just leave it as Tyranids. Ten years ago, we blood ravens destroyed the demon Alcair. So, yeah. Well, that's a bit of a douchebag. If you're in matchmaking, you result in... Wow, just totally cut me off there, didn't ya? Fuck. What timing you have. Um... I think I might have broke the game. That's... strange. Whatever. Um, yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm pretty much just gonna do the first mission because I've recorded some stuff today already and I just want to get this started and so I can start doing it once I've finished recording Mass Effect apart from its DLC Anomaly is still going so yeah once I finish Mass Effect I'll probably get into this and I'll get more into this I don't know I'll probably get straight into Mass Effect 3 I'm not sure probably give it a week before I start Mass Effect 3 but yeah, I'm just going to do the first mission of this, just to get it started, and then um, probably Monday, since it's Saturday at the moment, I'll probably start it on Monday. Probably start doing this on Monday, I think. No, I think I'll start it on Tuesday, because I want to make sure I get skirmish done. Ravens. We would act, yet we do are locked in warfare with one another. As I'd skip the intro, but each intro has a slightly different part to it for whatever race you play, and I believe that's coming up in a minute, so I'm gonna keep quiet while that bit starts. Brothers. Brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcair. A corrupt space marine chapter master. A militia crippled by this order and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the sector of life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. But even now, an enemy once thought long vanquished is stirring. The worlds of subsector Aurelia still bear the scars of the Tyranid invasion. The Hive fleet was thought to be shattered and the surviving beasts to be filled and unguided. And so they have been left to lurk in the dark corners of our worlds. As the Tyranid infection has recovered and grown, the Hive Mind has called to its lost children. A Hive Lord has awakened. It will answer the call. It will make clear the way. It would have been really interesting if each, if um, the different races that you pick started on a different planet, because it makes sense that the Tyranids start here, you know, it would have been cool if one of the other races started on a different planet, like, because the Tyranids start here, I think the Imperium start off, like, hunting down the last Tyranids that were feral, which makes sense, like, each, 
each of the two could start on their own planet. You know, that'd be pretty cool. Like, there are six planets, or oh, four planets, I think. And only one planet that you don't go to till the end of the game. Now look at this mess. But far be it from me to question our great and wise leaders. I will pretend I didn't hear that trooper. Speak like that around the commissar and see what happens. I was there when the Blood Ravens killed the Hive Fleet. If you're on your guard, these Tyranids are no more dangerous than Meridian Razor Slugs. Look! Ahead! What is that? Ah, oh, poor Merrick. Totally got fucked up. Now I gotta remember how the bloody controls work. So, yeah, um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, it'd be cool because there's four planets and six teams, so there'd be one planet that you don't play on, mainly because that planet um, you don't really go to, I think, till later on in the game. Although I'm not really too certain because I haven't played this for quite a long time. But yeah, there'd be like, there's three different planets, so each planet... Like, you'd have the team starting on three different planets. And it'd go from there. It'd be really cool, I reckon. Because like, it'd certainly change it up a bit, I reckon. Make it quite interesting. Uh, they're both Termogods? Yeah, Termogods. Gonna have a hard time remembering most of this. Tyranids really make me think of the Zerg. They really do. Does that have... Ah, Q. I couldn't tell if it was an O or a Q. Like, the position of it made it really hard to tell. So yeah, I had a bit of a hard time trying to figure it out. And do this. Yeah, I said... Ability is... Oh, come on. Yeah, it needs the energy. There we go. Yay! Let's go run him down. Well, I'm trying to, but they don't seem to want to move very far. I thought they were supposed to be dumb beasts. Well, not when they got a hive lord, leading them. Hive lord, hive lord, hive lord will kick your ass. Notice the steam servers are. Yeah, so you already know this. Don't kick me out of the game again. God. All right, guys, move up. Move up. I don't think I've ever played this, any of these campaigns on the hardest difficulty. I don't think I have. Eh. It's not like I get achievements on the Xbox to do it, so... <laughs> why should I really bother? Because that's mainly why I did it the first time, to get the achievements on there. Alright, keep moving. There should be a... Yeah, there it is. A nest over here. Alright, well, let's get over there. I'll have him acquire it. They could have at least given the, um, thing a different skin. Like, the resource box is a different skin for Tyranids. So it would have been a lot more interesting if they did. Ah, oh, the center does open up a bit. Alright, let's get some Hermogorts. I don't have enough resources to get more. Uh, oh hey! None of them have actually died, they just lost some health. 
The Hormigaunts close in, clawing your face off. Meanwhile, the Termigants sit back and shoot you to death. I like how they give that explanation. I actually like the Hormigaunts. They're not bad. They can certainly do some damage at least. Look at that. Alright, everybody go this way. Quickly now, quickly. Unless I can blow the fuck out of these guys. Indirectly nice. Hee hee, hee hee. You fuck now, bitch. Ooh, whoops. A few of them died there. Fall back, boys. Get some healing, John. John. Done. I am not speak... I not speak too good today. Oh, hey, they've already got uh, adrenaline, apparently. They've already got some upgrades. Nice. Alright, this should be another nest soon. So any lost from here on out can be got in that way. I think my bioplasma actually does damage to my own troops, which kind of sucks, because I don't remember that ever happening. Gribbly's coming? Well, that's an interesting name. I think... Like, it was... Chaos and Space Marines fought each other. And then I think it was... Uh, it's, well, obviously it's Tyranids and Imperium. But I don't remember. I think, I, I guess that only leaves Orcs and Eldar in the end for that. Which in the end, I guess, does make sense. No, 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 don't go that way. Don't go that way. You guys finish them off. Hermogods, take this thing down. Yeah, I said take them down. Oh. Lost a couple Hermogods again. Come on, finish him off. Stupid turret doesn't want to die. Yay. Resources. Ooh, and a thingy. Pheromone trail. Interesting. Oh, hey, another box. I like the roaring sounds. It just sounds so good. Oh, okay, he just wants to break through the forest? Well, alright.